So I just finished um, American Fiction. If it's love, I want everything. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental. They told me that life is simple, been real since Papa Pimple. I saw that out in the rent, no Sonata, the presidential. Speak once and listen twice. They told me that less is simple. I'm that movie, that movie, I, I enjoyed it. That movie felt like someone was telling the story of a writer. Like, of course, it's based off a book and it's about a dude writing a book, a few books actually. But there was a lot of things that happened in that movie that kind of re-energized me. So with this new year, uh, you guys would have seen, hopefully you've seen the, um, the 2024 goals video. I'll put it up, whatever. But my goal is to um, create smaller deadlines for myself and to reach those and to also um, work with intention and a part of that for me translates to immersing myself in writer culture like you know how if you're trying to do something you research it you look it up you look up videos you look up groups and podcasts about it and whatever and you get kind of immersed in that thing to give you more insight and to kind of help move you along and i i get that i do that uh tiktok youtube social medias at large like i do that but i think because I am trying to move with more intention this year, I am making it a point to intentionally immerse myself in not just the passive like, oh, I'm going to watch a YouTube video. Let me look at author two. Oh, I, you know, finished writing for the day. Let me just scroll on whatever social media and then whatever author stuff happens to pop up, then watch that. No, like I'm trying to immerse myself in that space no matter what so you know maybe every day maybe every couple of days just making it a point to make sure i consume which i've already been doing but like doing it with the intention of having that feeling around me all the time so i say all that to say that this movie is definitely that for me and there's a few other movies coming out this year at the time of this recording maybe they've come out already but that deal with publishing and writing and authors and novelists specifically and that that's dope and it makes me feel like i don't want to tell too much of my effort my business but when drumline came out i was in a band at that time and so of course we went to see drumline like hope of course we did and it's that same feeling and i also used to dance and so when um you got served came out it was like yeah we're gonna see this and it's it's that I don't know. It's it's the way that fiction and stories in general can really get a hold of you. Because that movie, I thoroughly enjoyed. And I really wish that I could spend more time in that world. But I think it was written well enough that if we never revisit that world, that is okay. But I enjoyed the time that was spent there. So I'm um, I'm I'm doing my own work, but I just wanted to give some praise to american fiction for everything because i think even if you like it or if you don't there's not many if not any now there may be something that i'm just not aware of but i can't think of a movie off the top of my head that explores that space of black people men specifically in literature there's like the best man but even that Maybe the first movie, because I think after, mm, I don't want to go down that road, but it's I I like it. I like it. So um, if you've seen the movie, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. All right, y'all. Serving in the room, I'll be flying all on the wall. Open mouth conversations, I'll leave you all in some all. Cutting through the noise, I'm hoping I leave a scar. If you don't know where you've been, how you know where you are? Next is cruise in the night, I'm grooving. Thought you said you was my type, I'm moving too slow. Text back like shit, I'm cool with it. I can match energies, babe, I'm moving you. So I'm through off the time, check my notifications. It wasn't love we was prepping for, but was something adjacent. I can't be wasting lines. I meant for something to say in the time where everything vague in the in between is not what it made out the scene. Everything. All right, so. Uh, lunch was a success. <laughs> Went out to uh, eat some good old fashioned down home uh, Chinese food on the other side of town, and it was scrumdilly. Scrumdilly yum yum, a purple. <laughs> 
So now uh, what I'm doing is actually preparing to format uh, my book. So the thing is, I am still in the um, drafting editing phase of the second book. The first one is done completely. Um, at the time of this record, by the time this goes up, you should see the vellum video that i did of like going through purchasing getting started with the vellum video uh vellum software and it was painless <laughs> it was easier than i expected and i'm happy that i took that plunge and so now though i'm still writing i think my focus is going to be just kind of playing around with the software and starting to format so <sighs> full transparency i have a mac but i don't have windows so the i'm sorry i have a mac but i don't have word windows so the story that i have that's edited completely done is from windows when i had my pc and that took a crash that's not working anymore it's a whole another story for another day but um so what i'm doing now is just taking some of the um some of the content from the edited document and just plugging it in and playing around with it. I need to research a little bit more, but I think the only way that you can even have a project in Vellum is to either import it from Microsoft Word or to have a new project, which is what I did, and start inputting the um, information in. You can just type the book in there directly or just copy and paste into the, uh, the software. And it's, it's working for me. I'm really just playing around. I have like the first two chapters in there and I have to go through and format, <laughs> but even more of just like formatting the way the book looks, the way that I received the document after the editing was like double spaced and something else. And so when I copy it into the uh, software, I have to do a little bit more work than I expected. Not a bad thing. It's just something to be aware of um, for those of you who may be new to the Vellum site or whatnot. So I'm going to do that. I am, um, the Vellum video should be up. I'm gonna format and play around with the software a little bit now. Um, and then my next few steps for this will be uh, figuring out which platform I'm going to post with. And I'm thinking it's going to be Kindle. So I, I know there's a difference between going wide and going through KDP. And so in my mind and heart of hearts right now, I'm uh, leaning more towards the KDP. The only issue I have with that is that I've seen, I've seen the horror stories of people who were signed up for KDP and then their books were pirated, which I still don't understand how, how is it that your book can be pirated and there's no provisions in place in Amazon to investigate that further because if you've done the work as amazon to investigate and realize that oh this book is on another platform because of course you don't want the authors who are publishing with you to um break contract or breach contract or whatever then where is the extra few steps of getting an email from someone or even reaching out to someone saying hey your stuff is published on this site you, you, give me details um I don't know. I just think it's uh, so I bring it up because there was a young lady who I am friends with over on TikTok. And just recently in the last like week and a half, two weeks, uh, she's made a post about, hey, my stuff has been pirated. And I'm like, Ugh, that's not something that I want to deal with. But it's also no, no risk, no reward. You're always going to have some form of something that could go wrong. But I'm Oh, that's the one thing that has me like shook. So I'm looking into that and then I'm looking into the details of actually going wide, but I'm thinking I'll be with Kindle. And y'all let me know what, um, if you've published, what platforms have you published through? If you are an avid reader, where do you prefer to read your books? What's your personal, um, preference? <clears throat> and with the romance love story of it all, I'm getting KDP as like the, probably best option. That's what I'm getting. So on top of that, with the formatting itself, I'm playing around with it. I like the different styles. Some are a little bit more subtle than others, but what I've been doing is actually going through some of my old books that I enjoyed from some authors that I'm familiar with <laughs> intimately. So I have Eric Drum, Dickie, Elin Harris. I have some Tia Williams 
and a James Earl Hardy book. And so I tried to go for the older books, the ones that I read like growing up and into my adult years, because that's the feeling that I want to go for as far as like cover and interior and whatnot. And I, oh, I'm going to look at some newer books like Tia. I think Tia Williams, Seven Days in June, I have a hard copy. That's the newest out of the pile that I have here. Um, but we got Dying for Revenge. We got Basketball Jones. We got Just As I Am, which is a favorite of mine. Ah, a whole host of others, ah, as you can see. And then my um, bookshelf probably could use some refreshing. I got a lot of cleaning, a lot of work to do. But I'm just going through and seeing how their books are formatted. Like I really like um, looking at Friends and Lovers by Eric Jerome Dickey. I like the author at the top, the title at the top as well, and then the number and whatnot. So I'm just seeing what options with Vellum can get me close to the, this and these, this look, aesthetic feel, and then also kind of playing around with um, just what looks good to me. So another thing that I'm considering is when it comes to the ebook, I saw like two videos showing how you can customize the headers for these books. So I'm I'm going to look into that a little bit later or maybe just kind of whenever I have some free time. Right now the focus is to format this first book for paperback, but I I need to you know, I like a little, a little design. I like a little graphic, creating a little moment. <laughs> so I'm going to see. Um, there is a young lady who uses Vellum as well. And I've only um, read her books through audiobook. I have, I think I have one, one of her paperbacks but i remember she showed um one of her hard covers for one of the books that i read in audio that had art that she commissioned and it was beautiful and i she was like yeah i, I did this through vellum and i'm like Shit. so i'm getting intimately familiar with this software and i'm enjoying it so far so i think that's what i'll do is end up doing that still got some errands and stuff to run i don't know how many? Mm, I got some time. It's still daylight out. I don't know. I'm going to deal with this and then see what I come up with. All in all, I'm enjoying the software so far. I am um, excited to have met one of my milestones for my larger um, goal. And this has felt really good. Like having having this large goal I'm working towards, but breaking it down, which it's not nothing groundbreaking. People do this all the time. <laughs> but the fact that I've actually sat down with intention and said, these are the things I need to accomplish. These are the things I want. And I'm working towards them so I can see myself inching to that bigger goal. <sighs> Good stuff. So let me jump right into this. And then I think I'll wrap stuff up here, wrap it up here. And, um, you know, if you haven't seen the Vellum video, please give that a watch. Um, if you have any questions about it for me as a new user or even some suggestions, if there are some features or things that you've done or you know of that would be beneficial or that you would like to wisdom you'd like to impart on me and whoever else is watching, please, by all means, feel free. Uh, so, again, I'm Rain Coleman. I am a love story architect. I think I like that. I write stories, contemporary stories of romance, love, drama, heartache, loss, and all that good stuff. Hit me up online. Um, I'll have all my socials in the uh, show notes. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful February. Yeah, February. All right, y'all. Attention, but still I tend to do it wrong. Can you fault me for wanting you? Was you let alone? Both hurt, but I wasn't taunting you. I just thought it ought to be what I was supposed to do, else I wasn't approaching you. I put my heart on your sleeve, wore like a brooch to you, and all in all, the outcome would be what it would be. You took a chance, I took the lead. We shook the sheets, advanced, and did the deed. Don't blame it on me. We grown, it's a natural thing.